Yes, yes. Those are my Lambos. The hurricane spider. Also in white. And the hurricane coupe. Beautiful. But um, a little update on the markets, my dear friends, because I have changed my mind again. I don't think uh, odds are high anymore to go to a new all time high. Uh, it has uh, recovered from a low of $1,900 to now. $2,300 the past 24 hours has been uh, hanging between $2,000 $2,300 but um, I just did uh, I just realized that that I have to compare this bubble uh, with with the first bubble in 2013 not the second one uh, um, but and so because the first bubble in 2013 also took two years to to form and so was strong uh, because the bubble before that was in 2011 when it went to one, from one to thirty dollars 32 then it collapsed collapsed to three dollars and then it went to um, to 255 um, and so if you look at the market cap growth Well, at the time it was only Bitcoin, so we can just look at the price. Um, but basically it went from 30, the all time high in 2011, to 255, uh, the new all time high in 2013, the first bubble. And so that's times eight that it went up. The amount of coins also went actually uh, up uh, over those two years so the if the price goes up but you have also more coins in circulation so let's say it went times 10 then huh? the market cap of all cryptocurrencies because it was just bitcoin at the time um and 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 i think we cannot expect anything more in this bubble huh? so if the market cap went up times 10 um, compared to the previous all-time high, then we cannot expect anything more in this bubble. Uh, and so the previous all-time high was end 2013, uh, at uh, when Bitcoin peaked out at 1,250, and then the market cap of all cryptocurrencies was around 13 billion. Times 10 is 130 billion. Uh, but can can we expect times 10 the same increase as uh, as in the early days that's very optimistic it's possible but it's not likely it's more likely that it will be a little bit less it could be cut in half or it could be chopped by 25% or 50% but so it's certainly not going to be more than times 10. Allez. That's very unlikely. So, 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 so what have we seen? Well, we saw it going up to 90 billion. And so um, that was times 8 because the previous all time high was 13 billion or times 7, 8. So this, this really convinces me that no, we probably saw we saw the peak probably, and um, and 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 also the past three four days eh, it's been correcting. I don't know, haven't studied the exact details, but it's starting to take some time too, which is not good. A bubble goes very fast, faster and faster towards the end, and and so you don't take a break. You have a hyperbolic rise, a parabolic rise goes faster and faster. And, and the moment there is a break, a longer break, well, that means it's the end. So if we get a new all time high, it should really happen quickly, not next month. No, it's not going to happen. It either happens this week or it doesn't happen at all. 
So, so, and, 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 and it's not happening right now. So, I think the odds have, have seriously increased that we saw the peak at 2800 and, and, and that we are now have started the bear market and that this price is, 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 is the first bounce eh, from a low from 2800 to 2900 back at 2300 uh, it's, it's the first bounce can bounce a little bit more to 2400 but actually we saw a first bounce eh? it, went, it went from 2900 800 to 2200 and now to 2500 600 and then to 1900 and now to 2300 so we are moving down so I think it's very important to lock in profits right now um, and uh, and to to protect your uh, capital. Um, it makes sense to leave some money on the table too. You never know what's going to happen. But the probabilities right now are that we are going to have over the next few months a correction. And that's not a sideways movement in the crypto world. <laughs> It is a downwards movement and it will shop off uh, up to 80%. That will be the low, a loss of 80%. Eh? And so we will probably bottom out around 20 to 30 billion in, 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 in three, four, five months. Maybe already in one, two months. Uh, it can go fast too. Uh, and so from here, uh, it, uh, it has rebounds to now about uh, from 90 to 60 and now to back to almost 80 billion now again um 75 so 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 it will probably go down to to 30 or so in a couple of months so 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 if you're not really uh that excited uh, for these prospects you should really uh like look at how much of your portfolio is in crypto how much is in fiat and and yeah if like you should really Make the exercise in your head how much you're gonna lose if it's uh, cut by um, half and then again half, eh? two times cut in half your crypto uh, value, and and how would you feel then? If you would feel extremely bad, now is the time to 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 prevent that um, by locking in some profits or just locking in some value eh? value that you have created that that you have realized. By investing wisely, uh, but that you are now uh, going to protect, and that makes a lot of sense. So I have uh, now 45% fiat uh, and still 55% crypto, but I'm working really hard to uh, to bring that down uh, the amount of crypto exposure I have, and and so. I sold uh, my NXT and Ardor fully um, and I'm still selling some other coins um, yeah it's 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 interesting um, I mean we've been so lucky in this market um, not only have the governments not clamped down on cryptocurrencies, they have also not clamped down on ICOs. And this is really surprising me. I had expected when I entered this market uh, in 2012 eh? and I, I saw Bitcoin, I said, okay, cool, let's, uh, let's invest in that. But then in the, in the Bitcoin world, I discovered that many people were launching assets. Eh? Uh, basically IPOs and uh, stocks but I knew that whoa this is a highly regulated market and and I, I, I don't believe for a second that, that, that they will allow this to happen uh, governments like to have their um, uh, like to have control and, and, and I like to have a cut of the pie and so um, they will probably clamp down hard on that, but 
And that happened a little, eh? for example, Satoshi Dice was a gambling website that launched uh, shares uh, and then later on they were, um, uh, by the SEC, uh, they had to pay um, a, a, a fine. The same happened with Ripple, uh, they had to pay a fine too. But, 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 but for the most part, I mean, for the most part, 99% of the offerings have, have never been uh, prosecuted a and the industry also found like, yeah, the right way to, to, to do these things, like to, to, to launch ICOs that do, do not, uh, ICOs are not like IPOs these days, people have really, and, and Ethereum did as, as the first, uh, created a legal framework where, where, you don't have the same rights as investing in an IPO. Uh, you don't really buy shares that give you voting rights or or, or, or ownership rights. It's more like uh, fuel or <laughs> something like that gives you zero rights. Uh, and, and that way they have successfully, you know, uh, been... Uh, out of reach of current regulations and, and that's a great accomplishment and many people have followed suit and, and so now you have a whole new world of ICOs, uh, initial coin offerings uh, and, 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 and that's just a great, a great thing to see that, that, that people can raise money without um, having to uh, go through tons of paperwork and pay huge fees in lawyer lawyers and licenses uh, that's just absolutely fantastic and and and, and if uh, this continues uh, to be uh, uh, tolerated uh, then 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 that, that's going to really also help uh, really revolutionize the financial industry and, and so that's great to see but what you see is that that only a few platforms really succeed in, 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 in enjoying from this new revolution. And it's Ethereum by far. Uh, most people are launching their ICO there. And now you have also Waves and I think Omni before uh, uh, Mastercoin also didn't do that bad. Um, NXT has some offerings, but for the most part, it's been Ethereum and maybe Waves now is starting also uh, that have really done very well there. And yeah, for me, NXT order, it can still happen. And if it does, um, well, I won't be a part of it. I won't make money on it anymore. Uh, but uh, and I hope they succeed. But uh, up until today, I have not been happy with the results. And, and that's why I decided to sell my uh, stake. Uh, in full uh, in this bull market and I, I hope they succeed in uh, in making it happen but I do really believe the same things as I have uh, shared one year back I made several videos about NXT one of them is uh, called NXT make or break and um, I still stand fully behind what I said in that video so um, I think it's very important that uh, developers and um, just the management of a cryptocurrency really is focused on creating value for the blockchain, the public blockchain. Um, and um, that's very important. What really concerns me with the NXT is, is the amount of con transactions that has continued to go down to about 500 per day. Now, the last month has gone up again to 1,000 or 1,500 per day, but of course the price has gone up of all cryptocurrencies and also of NXT and order. And, and so you, you, you have many more transactions just for speculation, um, selling a piece of your stash or buying some, people start to buy also some, some. so you have movements there and, and that causes more transactions, but there is no real adoption, um, there's no real growth of to use the functions that NXT offers to launch assets uh, or, or, or trade assets. 
it, there is no real growth there and 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 that really concerns concerned me for a long time and and uh, and 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 yeah that's really bad and, and many other cryptos have that too eh? even those that have gone up a lot in value like dash for example before it started rising there was no growth at all in amount of transactions and and so first the price arises and these days and only then the transactions rise so it can still happen for dash that it breaks through and it starts to become used as a currency but um this is speculation um, because up until today it's not the case yet so it's all promise and, 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 and Dash has some good characteristics uh, features uh, the same for NXT other some good features Ethereum too uh, many of these things have good features but Yeah, the, you have to look at at, 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 at at real utility and, and on that level it's still very low. And and so this combined with just the normal uh, situation that cryptos go up via booms and busts uh, really yeah, convinces me to, 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 yeah, to sell even great coins, coins that do things very well and that I do believe have a good chance to be adopted by the masses in the future, such as Zcash and Byteball, those are my personal favorites, even they are likely going to go down a lot in value per token. Zcash has huge inflation, so even, even if it grows in market cap, or, or stay steady in market cap, the value of your coins will go down due to the inflation. And 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 bite ball, um, there's no not much inflation there because the rules have changed and now even more new coins will go to existing shareholders or existing coin holders. So that means that there is basically not much inflation. But the value of byte ball has gone up from 1 million to now 60 million while well, it can correct to 30 million without a problem and still have been a great investment but that means that the byte ball you own will be cut in half in value uh, that's quite likely huh? so even the coins i i really like um well, will likely not be a good investment over the next few months. So, um, I'm thinking what else I wanted to say. So right now I'm 45% uh, fiat and I hope to push that up to 60%. I think that's the right allocation for me. Um, many people are... 100%, 90%, 8% crypto, that's really not for me. Um, I, I really don't think the odds are uh, 80 or 90% that crypto will continue to go up. I don't believe that at all. I think the odds are you could give it 60%, you could give it also 40%. I think it's more realistic that you give the odds like. There is still a chance it goes up. You never know how, how this, this goes. Eh? Uh, there is still a chance, but the chance is not really in your favor anymore. Unlike half a year ago or one year ago, then yes. Yes. But not anymore today. So that's why I think it makes sense to not have the majority of your capital in crypto, but uh, wait for better times. Uh, when um, the market is not euphoric, but neutral or preferably a little bit negative, depressed, ideally. Uh, because we've seen that plenty of times in the cryptocurrency space that it goes from euphoric to really depressed. And there are plenty of reasons uh, to find uh, why you should feel depressed about this market. The fundamentals are not as good at all 
uh, as many people um, believe. Just in summary, um, I've said this many times before, but Bitcoin is managed very poorly. Transaction fees are up to such an extent that you pay now 10, 20, 10, 10 dollars or five dollars per transaction. So it's completely lost its function as money to pay for small items. Uh, and uh, and Ethereum is, is, is great, but way overvalued for what it has accomplished. It is now valued 20 billion the most profitable companies in the world i'm talking about amazon microsoft uh, facebook like companies that make billions billions of profits per year are valued 200 billion 300 400 500 billion eh? they are like real cash machines and they are valued well two three hundred four hundred billion so Ethereum is not worth 20 billion or 15 billion. Ripple also not. And Bitcoin is also not worth 20, 30 billion right now because it's failing uh, to grow. Uh, it stopped growing in amount of transactions. Its users are not growing. You have people coming in, yes, but at the same time people go out too uh, to other currencies. So. This is a bubble and, um, and it will deflate and uh, there will be very likely uh, a much better time to buy these coins, these tokens uh, in the future. So guys, good luck. Bye.